evening and welcome to Fashion and Lifestyle Cavan TV. I'm Siobhan Harton and I'm here with M Michelle Leggett. Michelle is a wonderful, actually a super talented makeup, freelance makeup artist and she's done work uh, on films like No Party for Billy Burns, the award winning Begrudgers. She's uh, endless talent, more Cavan talent. Welcome Michelle Hi, to Sean. Cavan TV. Thanks Michelle, tell us a little bit about your background and yourself. Well, I studied art and craft, first of all, in Cavan Institute to get a portfolio. Then i done my beauty therapy, aromatherapy, reflexology in Dunleary, and then went on to do theatrical and media makeup. Oh, excellent. So this is what we're here this evening. We're actually, Michelle's going to do some demonstration on theatrical makeup, or a little bit about makeup on the eyes and on the lips, and mm -hmm. on uh, how to get the party, a good party look for the, uh, good look for the party season. So it is. So Michelle, um, also we're going to have Stacey in as our beautiful model. So um, Michelle's going to do a little bit about that. But um, what's kind of uh, key things about makeup before we start, Michelle? A little few things like tips. What do people get wrong on the eyes? Because we're going to focus on the eyes. Okay. Key things, first of all, is you need to look after the skin before you even go near makeup. It doesn't matter what amount or how expensive makeup you use, you have to keep your skin in good condition. Because is there a difference between expensive makeup and... Yes, like there is. Inexpensive The makeup. more expensive the makeup, the longer lasting and the better the pigment. Right. On it. Less expensive makeup is fine. Everybody has a different budget. You know, just because you have a lower budget doesn't mean you can't have a fabulous face. But for the professional makeup I would use, yes, it will be higher quality, lasts a lot longer and better colour. Yeah, because there's nothing more annoying than when you put makeup on and it actually goes, the middle of the night yeah. it goes. And I'm not one of those people that actually go into the, the bathroom to put on top up. Yeah. I can't do that. So I, expensive makeup would actually work yes. for that. And it's the application as well. Um, mm. Your setting powders, your concealers, um, sometimes primers, this all has an effect on how long your makeup lasts. Right. Uh, so primers, you'd be good to put primers on as well. Is primers essential to put on? I personally don't think they're essential to put on. I would only use them if someone has really oily skin or dry skin to deal with that condition. Otherwise, you're putting layer upon layer of makeup on top of your moisturiser, then primer, then concealers, foundation, powders, etc. So I would only use them if it's needed. Okay, so that's kind of where the term caked on. Exactly. Comes yeah. from the term yeah. to be caked on. <laughs> and actually, before uh, we get into the demonstration, because I know we don't have much time for it, but uh, a friend of mine out there was looking for a tip on cold sores. <laughs> so uh, is there any tips that you can do? Because loads of people get cold sores because they're run down. Um, what tips? First of all, you can get the little plasters that cover the cold sore. Mm. So you can put that on and then conceal over it. But the main thing is to use cotton buds so that you can throw it out afterwards. You don't want to contaminate your makeup brushes or sponges. So when you are concealing, um, scrape it out of your little container onto the back of your hand and use a cotton bud and then apply it and throw it away. Okay. Because you can spread the cold sore. Yeah. Um, less is more. If you put on too much, it just cakes on and dries up. So a tiny little bit of Vaseline to take the dryness out of it and then cotton bud with your concealer and then again cotton bud with your foundation and then go over it. Okay, and that would, that would take the whole... It the look away from calm it down. Goes yeah. Right. Yeah. So it is okay to put makeup on because some people say that you shouldn't put makeup on a cold sore. Ideally, ideally I don't think... Um, it's a good idea definitely not to use the same brushes, disposable um, implements. You, you don't want to go out with your cold sore showing, so you are, it'd be ideal not to cover it, let it heal, but if you are going out for a special occasion, just cover it up with your concealers, but with cotton buds. Right, perfect. Well, I'm going to let you get ready. Um, I, Michelle's going to get ready with Stacey, our model, um, and we're going to do a bit of a demonstration on uh, how to get a smoky eye effect and how to get lovely red lips. And actually, uh, I want to thank Michelle for my makeup this evening. Michelle's done my makeup and it actually looks fantastic. So I'm going to get her to talk through my makeup later on if you want to get the smoky eyes and the red lips. Like mine. So Michelle's going to start on Stacey here. Thanks, Stacey, for coming in and helping us out. Stacey got pulled in last minute as our, our mm -hmm. model. So it is. So thank you very much, Stacey, for coming in. So what are you going to start? So you didn't okay. mind Stacey earlier yep. on, did you? So Stacey's skin is moisturised. You let the moisturiser soak in for a good 10 minutes beforehand. If you don't, 
it will your foundations would slide off so you can feel when it's soaked in i've applied a little bit of primer to any dry patches as well and it's all dried in so to apply the foundation you can use this is a fiber optic brush so it um has the effect of like a flat brush and a sponge in one almost there's no right or wrong you can use your hands you can use a sponge or you can use this fiber optic brush this just gets it on nice and evenly very quickly your fingers i find the application isn't even um, but the heat or warmth of your hand spreads it quickly a sponge i find soaks up all your product but it's really handy for doing around the hairline um, and the flat brush is quick application, but so it this can is the leave. Flat brush, yeah, yeah, it can sometimes so leave. That's the flat one. Yeah, it can sometimes leave streaks. So okay, they all have their benefits. So really, some person was telling me that if you use the, I think uh, if you use your uh, hands, yeah. that you kind of have a tendency to rub all the makeup to the side and to rub it face. and to rub it away to as well. Away. Yeah, but they all have. I'd use all of them in different for different purposes. So it's what you're used to as well. But I just think the sponges soak up and waste all your foundation. Yeah, because I actually yeah. had a foundation. It was Bobby Brown, and it went yeah. in no time. And it's an expensive one, but it went in no time. Mm -hmm. So what so I'm so doing basically is applying the foundation. A little bit on the cheeks, the chin, the nose and the forehead and then I'm spreading it upwards. Nice light strokes. The less is more. Your foundation shouldn't completely block out the colour of your skin. It should only um, enhance, basically cover any blotches. Blemishes that blemishes, you have. Yeah, less is yeah. definitely more. You can see the way too. I'm being not, careful. That, not that Stacey no, has any blemishes. <laughs> she's gorgeous. I'm, I'm yeah. in a lot of jealousy <laughs> here and envy of Stacey's glowing skin. <laughs> But you can see around the jawline, I'm being very careful. I'm not getting more product. I'm just using what's left on the brush. Right. And I'm making sure so I'm blending it really don't well. Put huge amount yeah. on. Yeah, definitely. Definitely less is more. And just I'm making sure that the hairline. So that is totally avoids in. the cake on look. Exactly. Yeah, less is definitely more. People are used to putting on way too much foundation. You only looked caked on, it, it flattens the face. So it really is less is more when it comes to foundation. So um, there's the foundation. I didn't do too much work underneath the eyes because when I do the eyes, fan, or eyeshadows can fall. So at the end, I tidied that up really okay. well. So, so you didn't say, use any kind of... It didn't use too much foundation under it. Mm -hmm. um, so concealers, there's no real need for concealer on Stacey's skin because it is lovely. So what I'm doing now is applying a setting powder. And this gives a professional finish. It helps your foundation last the whole night and it takes any shine off it. So a large powder brush, I'm only putting it where is needed. Okay, so you generally the T-zone. Um, if she had all your skin, I would put it all the way around, but really less is more again. You just need to put it on the T-zone or wherever is oily. Okay, so someone with oily skin would need to use a lot more yep. of it just to or, take that shine off the skin. Yeah, all over the skin. Mm -hmm. Now this is a translucent powder. It looks white, okay? It looks white, but when you see it that? goes on, the white when it goes on is you, you can see it doesn't go on white it's translucent it's yeah. see-through okay you can get colored powders but they're better on their own right um so you use no foundation underneath those you can use a foundation but it would have to match your pow colored okay. powder very well okay so to be safe the translucent powder and it will go okay. with any foundation right that you want to wear okay so before i start any makeup eyeshadow i always define the eyebrows it makes such a difference and you saw on yours earlier Siobhan as yeah. well the difference yeah there's a huge difference because yeah. Michelle did mine earlier on and uh, it was actually night and day the difference so mm. I'll definitely you'll be seeing more of this mm. yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> I'll look later <laughs> so what I'm using for the eyebrows is a very tapered skinny brush these are invaluable if you get a good brush set, you'll have it for years, and if you look after it. Really and is well. it worth paying a good price for a brush? Yeah, it is. The cheaper the brush, basically, it's synthetic fibres. It won't last. Mm -hmm. um, when you wash them with baby shampoo, which is perfect, or you can get a MAC brush cleanser, is brilliant, but baby shampoo as well. Oh, you, you can use. use. Right, and would that, yeah. is that for all the brushes that you'd use? Yes. Yeah. So it is good to, to clean all your brushes while you need yeah. to. Yeah, so, so and good um, expensive brushes basically are made of natural hair, right? Um, sable hair, horse hair, squirrel, all badgery, and all different types of hair. Um, 
no animals were harmed in the making of the bus stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's important to note that no animals were harmed in the making of these. But well, yeah, it, they, it, they, they, they massaged them <laughs> as they were cutting their hair. <laughs> 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 basically for your um, eyeshadow brushes it's natural soft hair but for your they're powders eyeshadows right. and, and bronzers etc but for your concealers your eyeshadow or pardon me yeah concealers and liquid foundations it's a synthetic almost plastic hair you can you can feel it yourself um, and that's the like synthetic type of hair okay. so that it's almost a plastic um, yeah. finish so then the product would slide off and onto the skin okay. whereas with the eyeshadows and bronzers that you want to blend the powder pardon me the hair brushes blend it really right. well so really cheap kits you'll see that it's all synthetic yeah so concealers foundation brushes um, would be a synthetic plastic type finish whereas your powder eyeshadow brushes will be a soft hair. A softer hair. Okay. So yeah. what I'm doing here is really marking the eyebrows, drawing almost a rectangle eyebrow shaped box and just filling it in. Okay, you can get lots, Stacey's quite dark, so it's really only a matter of filling in. And can you, you can totally change the look of a person's face yes, when you do eyebrows. That. Yeah, yeah, it makes such a difference. And I, if I had to do nothing else on the eyebrows, that's all that I would right. do. Yeah, because you can yeah. see there with Stacey's, like yeah. the eye, it's a really dramatic look. Like yeah. It really brings, it opens up her yeah. eyes there. Well, especially for brides and photographic work as well, you really yeah. need, you would have to have this, the eyebrows to find. Um, so definitely, and some people use pencil. Do you? Is there's there no. There's there's so many different. You can use a pencil. At the minute, I'm using a an, a brown eyeshadow because it's a perfect color, and I have this really useful brush. Yeah. The pencils are great as well. There's a little bit more wax in them. Right. And um, you just have to make sure they're they're penciled or par paired really well. Then I have um, eyebrow kits with one side's a little wax and the other side is the shadow. Right. And you put on the wax first to lay down the hairs and then you apply the brown eyeshadow then, or whatever colour that suits you. Does it so right? they're all different, to be honest, it's, so it's, it's not right prefer. or wrong. It's not right <coughs> or wrong. The brown eyeshadow mm. just might fade away at the end of the night a little bit more than the rest of them. Uh -huh. But again, it, it depends on the coarseness of your hair. Right. So either, any of them, but the main thing is that very tapered skinny brush is, right. is, is, is such a valuable And it's slanted, it's this and it's one here. I'm just well. actually going to no, show, no, it's yeah. this one here. Just show yeah. Chloe's up off it. That one go. Um, so uh, that yeah, that's one of them, yeah. So. It's kind of a slanted brush on the top here. Can you see it there? It's just that slanted at an angle mm -hmm. that would go with the shape of your eyebrow. Okay. Yeah, most. When they like when these brushes get damaged, can you actually repair them, or you know, is it is there? How to can you trim it with a scissors? Do you know, like to get the shape back into it, what or happens, do you really need to get a new one? Yeah, get a new one basically. But if you wash, how you wash them is you dip them into a glass with one little squirt of baby shampoo. Keep all the same brushes, the hair brushes together, and then synthetic brushes together. Separate them into different glasses and just mix them around the water, and then run them in um, warm warm water after that. When they are dry and you basically squeeze out the excess water and leave them, reshape them uh -huh. and then leave them flat on a tea towel or some kitchen paper until they dry overnight. Okay, so you so have to leave them overnight and let them dry yeah, naturally. Yeah, properly. If you don't mm -hmm. leave them dry and standing up because the water will soak into the connection and oh, the handle. bacteria, it could cause infections to the skin. Okay. So you dry them flat. So basically yeah. your qu question Good. to keep the shape is how you squeeze them out when oh, they're wet dry and them, yeah. reshape them. I Just by twisting that. them in your hands basically. So with Stacey and what I'm doing, she's quite dark um, and the red lipstick look suits her. So I'm going to do a, quite a plain eye and then dress up the lips. I'm okay. going to do the black flick. So all over is the lighter nude colour basically. And then I'm just going to get a different brush to basically shade in the contours. So if you can imagine a skeleton and where the darker parts of the skeleton are, the cheekbones, the eye sockets and along the nose, mm -hmm. we want to naturally shade those areas as well. Okay. okay. Because dark colours recede. So when I apply to the cheek here, the dark colours will recede in 
and then a highlighter on the cheek will make the cheekbone pop out. Okay. And it's the same with the eyes. So I'm going for a darker colour around the eye socket. So how you would do that yourself is just press in and feel for it yourself. Okay? Because some people just use, like myself, have been known to just do one one kind of strip across. Um, in the your eye. set eyes, um, Siobhan, you have deep set eyes and that is you can get away with that because your eyes are deep set. It's more the, the upper lid here that I'd need to highlight seeing more. Right. Yeah. So you can get away with that with deep set eyes. Okay, so deep set yeah. eyes can get it away. Yeah. Because you don't see as much of the lid. Right. So you the blending of colour might be wasted as such. But the one colour straight over and then a lighter colour on the inside. But with deep set eyes you get a lovely smouldery look, very easy. A lovely right. smoky look, especially if you've dark eyes like you. Right. So that's handy. Yeah. So, so laziness does help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's pros and cons <laughs> to every There's pros and cons to just every strike eye across yeah. your face. <laughs> so what I'm doing here really quickly is just feeling for her socket bone and applying the darker shadow along it. I'm not going the full way in because that would close her eyes down completely. What I'm doing is roughly a C shape along okay. the lash line. So that's framing the eye. Exactly, like yeah. It contour, it defines the eye. Right. Everybody's eye shape is different but yeah. generally it is that, it's almost like an inverted C shape. Uh -huh. So I'll just try and accentuate a bit more so you can see it. So you turn your head around here, sis, thank you. And just along the soccer bone, not going in the full way but I'm making sure you don't see where it stops and starts, it's blending. And then upwards. <laughs> I'm getting comments in the background uh, saying, uh, is, is that not, uh, is that not, uh, lie, traits, traits, scripture, lying to men in the morning are very different. <laughs> it's called, <laughs> this is what us ladies have to do, I'm telling you the whole time, um, guys. Look, this is all we have to this, do. <laughs> it's called, um, <laughs> Enhancing our Enhancing features. Enhancing our yes. features, yeah. Enhancing Guys features. should wear a little bit of it. <laughs> it's left on the pillow in the morning. <laughs> no, that's why we use waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> so it stays up. That's yeah. why you need expensive makeup. Yes. <laughs> so it this makeup longer. will last two days if um, you look after it. <laughs> But honestly, a good professional make good products and applied properly. Your makeup, I've done brides and bridesmaids that have lasted from eight o'clock in the morning till that night, with only topping up their lips. Really, really, it's the proper just it's the proper steps, and um, setting the foundation, using the proper products for the skin, and and I mean it's not by applying tons of makeup. It's by applying it properly right. and where it's needed. Right, basically. Okay, so if you open your eyes up, it's easy. And it's easy to do this on yourself, Michelle. Like, I it know is. it's easy for you to do because you're a professional and excellent at it. It is. I think makeup is lots of fun. It should be lots of fun. So I'd recommend people gathering pictures from magazines, mm -hmm. even online, get a folder together on your laptop and practice, practice, practice. It's so it's so much fun. It should be fun. Right. Everybody, it sounds cheesy, but it's their own makeup artist. They yeah. do their makeup every day. Uh -huh. um, so... It's a treat for yourself as well. It's not just about looking good, it's about feeling good too. So yeah. take your time, especially coming up to Christmas now, practice on, before you go out, practice on your friends, sit in front of the mirror, it just washes off. You can yeah. just practice it again. Um, yeah. So really and truly, yeah. it's, um, it yeah. should be fun. Right. But YouTube but is fantastic, fantastic for, oh, for, for the tips. tips. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really good. Yeah. I'd recommend YouTube, you learn anything there, or yeah. get a lesson with me, and once yeah. you have a good lesson, and you give lessons, yes, Michelle. I do. I give lessons. Um, so if people wanted to get in contact with you, what way would they? Yeah. Would well, you? my email address is michelleleggettmakeup at gmail dot com, and my phone number is oh eight seven one two two eight two five one, and I will have a Facebook page set up in the future as well. Okay. But um, so we we'll just purchase. call out your phone number again yeah. and your email just so people out there would know uh, how to get in contact with Michelle if you wanted some special tips on makeup yeah it's michelle leg at makeup at gmail.com and my number is 87 8251 but makeup parties are great fun for hen parties um girls nights in birthday parties it's a great gift voucher to give to someone you can get one-on-one -on -one lessons so makeup party i would go and spend a few hours 
doing demonstrations, hints and tips, giving away all my secrets basically. Um, I go through your makeup bags, we sort out what you have. People have tons of makeup but they don't know how to use it. Exactly. So yeah. I teach people how to use it, give them hygiene tips, you know, how long right. makeup should last and when to throw things out. And how long would that lesson last with you? Um, it can last, basically it depends on how many people are there, but up to three hours. Excellent. Yeah. And that would be really good because you know the way um, come dine with me is really yeah. popular as well and people are always looking for someone to come round and do different yeah. things. So would you do something like yeah. that as well, go round and do, yeah. Yeah. do So I would tailor it to what the, the clients need, how many there is, if it's just serious or if it's just fun. Or, you know. Yeah, but so it's the prices be very different than yeah, like varies just, as well. Yeah, yeah. From that. But also teenagers, it, once they learn how to do makeup properly when they're that age, yeah, it's a great gift to give someone as well. Once you right. know the skills, the foundations, yeah, you practice, we were, I practice, had practice. another artist, makeup artist, in, and we were talking about foundation. It's just so important to get yes. foundation right because that's one thing that a lot of people get really, really lot wrong is the foundation. So it's really important to take time yeah. with that. Yeah, foundation. The foundation should never be more than about two shades different to your own skin tone. Right. Higher or lower. So how you would test it is along the jawline. People think you should test it on. Are you used to testing the hand? Yeah. You can see your hands are a completely different color to your face because of the weather, etc. So when you go into a chemist or a salon, you apply about just about three tones along your neck and jawline, mm -hmm. and then whichever one you can't see is closest or which is closest to your skin type, that's the one you that's choose. Right. Yeah. Perfect. So I'm just applying the eyeliner now. Mm -hmm. And this is a tricky bit for people as well. That's really tricky to do yourself. Yeah. So this it is. is practice, practice, practice. So you look in the mirror basically, yeah. and what you do is join the dots. You don't do one full line. Oh. You just do dots along the way. I would start in That's on the inner exactly edge. That's where I've been going wrong. And I then, never use it because I used to always try and yeah. do it in one stripe. So That's I making it difficult for yourself yeah. because it's very hard to get a straight line. So what I do is just lift the skin gently and do join the dots basically and then I go back over it and do longer sweeping lines so you're just doing it where the lash line is now I want to give because I'm doing the red lips I want to give um, Stacey an exaggerated flick like Marilyn Monroe style so uh -huh. what you do is you just follow the nat lift the eyelid yeah follow the natural angle of the eye mm -hmm. okay so I'm just going to accentuate it past slightly Okay, so that's very linear. I want to make it almost triangled to have for that effect. And that's the so, Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, so I'm Egyptian lifting it style. again and then just basically drawing in a triangle. You're just really almost from the bottom line up. So you kind of fill it in in, fill the, it in, in yeah. the stripes. Exactly. And once you get the, the after the little stripes, you get a nice clear Exactly. One. So it's all bit by bit. And then... When you're doing your makeup, stop and take a step back and have a look and and see if both eyes are even. Okay. As well. Okay. And if there, if you kind of do one a little bit too dark, like long, how do you how do you uh, do you try and make the other one longer, or do you do you try yeah. and take it all off? Or? Either try and do the other one longer. If it's too long, a cotton buds, cotton buds, cotton buds are fantastic okay. to have at on hand. Um, they really are invaluable. I totally well. see the the shading that you have there. It's gorgeous. The two different colors. What's the colors that you've used on Stacey's this eyes? This palette is a fantastic palette. It's called it's called it's Urban Decay. It's called Naked. So you can see all the different colors in it there. They're gorgeous. I think this is Naked One. You can get Naked Two, which is just slightly different. It's hugely popular. It's in every magazine. You right. Really, if you had just this one palette, you'd be you do. But well. And where would someone pick up that up? Department stores, Debenhams, things like that. Debenhams, easily. And, right. Yeah, it's about thirty-five or forty-five euro. I'm not sure, right. but I mean, you have about nearly twelve. Oh, that'd be a great that. Christmas gift. It brings you it? from day to night. It'd be a fantastic Christmas gift. Yeah, and it does um, bring you from day to night. Yeah, I with use all the, the colors. All yeah. the colors. I use lots of different amazing. products. Because you have the smoky eye uh, yeah. colors there as well. The smoky eye colors there, yeah. and then this, the other colors for the daytime. That's fantastic. So you look naked. Close. <laughs> Urban decay. <laughs> match this up. Okay, and then I'm going to continue with your cheeks and lips, and then I'll finish off with the mascara because the mascara can tend to be messy. Okay. 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 
So if you just smile. Yeah. So we're um, going to just do a little bit of the cheeks, just to do a little nice rosy yeah. glow. So blush or just you get the client to smile and or yourself, and you brush it just in the apples of the cheeks. Then for the bronzer, this is to contour. So it's to that. from the ear down along the cheekbone. Pardon me, underneath the cheekbone, not on the cheekbone. That would flatten the face. We're accentuating the contours. So think of a skeleton shape and think where it's darkest along the skeleton. And that's great. And we talked about Kim Kardashian uses that a lot, the yeah, contours that she I, does, so it doesn't look like one big stripe. Yeah. When I'm doing makeup yeah. lessons, I would show, or beauty workshops with young people, I show examples of Kim Kardashian, the amount of highlighter she's she almost is. white beforehand. Yeah. That's professional tips. So it's just lights, camera, action. We can all look like well, here, but almost look like Kim Kardashian. We're gonna look like wow. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> if you can do that, you'd be bloody amazing. Okay. So, <laughs> so it's lights, <laughs> camera, action. We can all have a go. Yeah. At it. right. You know, makeup is fantastic too. So we're going to do yeah. the red so lips, which are quite hard to get. I know yeah. you did. I so didn't do mine. There's this light mine. foundation across the lip. It acts as a base, like a primer. So what I'm doing is bit by bit again so the cupid's bow one side the yeah, other side that's a pencil that's a, a lip liner it's a lip that's liner going on there and then again it's just join the dots if you try and do one line mm -hmm. it's very hard to get it even so if you do bit by bit by bit by the bit the same with the the yeah. eyeliner the flick out yeah. and if you had like thin lips like myself can you extend your lips out yes of course you can, you can. you but especially if you put on the um Prior the a little bit of foundation beforehand, you can draw almost a fake lip as such. Over oh really? Yeah. Or not a fake lip. We're not saying anything is fake, but uh, accentuate. Mm, you can you alter make. the shape of your lips. Of your lips. That. You can make them smaller. You can even them out. You can make them fuller as well. So I'm using a brush, and what I'm doing is just applying it straight on to get it on. But then afterwards, I'm going with the grain of the lip. It just means it gets in the lines of the lip and it will help it last longer. Oh, so, and can you use a dark pencil to highlight the lips as well? It, that's really, um, Up that's quite, over. in at the moment, two-toned lips. Two toned Yeah, which is really nice. So just experiment with your lip liners, definitely that. Like a dark, even a, a black, and then you get a really gothic look. It's just a matter of blending it in. Line the lip and then blend it in. Oh, really? Some people use dark, yeah. like, like yeah. a... The and black, black. Yep. with that so we're actually nearly coming to a close now um, Michelle thank you so much and I just want you to um, to say your number out again actually and how people will get in contact with okay. you because if we look at Stacey here and uh, my own makeup actually uh, Michelle did that and she did a fantastic job so if anyone has any parties out there or wants to get some Christmas makeup done or anything like that uh, Michelle is your woman and it's just if we uh, scan back to Stacey again the end product which looks absolutely amazing so we just put the camera on Stacey. So we will and uh, just see what Michelle has done. They were looking gorgeous, absolutely. So Michelle, do you want to say uh, your number out yep. again and how people will get in contact with you? Yeah, my number is 087-122-8251. So for any makeup lessons or just for nights out around Christmas, wedding trials, any type of makeup. Or my email is michelleleggettmakeup at gmail.com and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. That's brilliant. Thank you very much for watching Fashion and Lifestyle Cavern TV. I'm Siobhan Harton and thank you Michelle and Stacey Thanks, for coming Siobhan. in. Thank you. And make sure to join us next week. We hope to have some hairstyles for the Christmas season and we'll be all in the Christmas spirit. And we'll have all the tips from Fashion and Lifestyle TV and we'll be uh, rolling them out over the Christmas. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>